so hello everyone in this video we'll be working on the sidebar and how we can customize it that we'll be seeing in this video so that is very simple if you go to also let me just introduce you to the welcome screen if you want to show some welcome screen so that also you can uh, show here using the welcome screen component uh, this will show a default welcome screen which is this one open or help you can see this will be the logo of the welcome screen but I think we don't need this so we will not be showing it now it also shows some customization option which you want to show you can see uh, the logo which you want to show will be appearing here the heading if you want to show and uh, the menu item link that you want to show like this we have the menu item links right open help so all these you can customize accordingly so if you if you go deeper inside the documentation you'll find how you can customize the welcome screen also the main thing that we'll be uh, seeing in this video will be the sidebar so how we can basically add the sidebar and customize it so the sidebar is like a drawer we can show so in my current application I have used uh, the and design drawer itself so I'm not using the sidebar from the Excalibur you see this this sidebar is basically different so this sidebar is coming from the and design uh, UI library so we can also use their uh, sidebar that we'll be adding in this video so let's go to this place you can see this is the option and uh, now this uh, docked and set docked will be the method that will, uh, will allow us to uh, change the sidebar from open to close now if I copy this line of code and I'll make you understand everything if I yeah now here I'll just paste it I'll just import footer the sidebar we can also add this option which is this one the UI option it will uh, basically in screen sizes it will automatically uh, fit the dockable size accordingly so it is for that for uh, l many screens as well you can remove this comment now we have imported the things let me just make you understand what these things will do so first of all this sidebar component is the wrapper for uh, everything we will be showing inside the uh, sidebar itself then we are showing the sidebar dot header component uh, and let me just create some states as well so these docked and set docked will be the method or the states that will be changed when the sidebar is clicked now if I use use state and I can write initially as false which means I don't want to show the dog the sidebar you can see this is the sidebar uh, dot trigger which will be the basically the uh, the button or the trigger that will open the sidebar so it will come in the footer because we are wrapping it inside a footer so the footer uh, will be in this trigger will be shown in the foot footer only and after that we have these uh, sidebar dot tabs option so tabs option will give us two different tabs inside which we can show different uh, UI for different tabs so this one uh, sidebar dot tab tab equals to 1 is basically the uh, tab 1 uh, tab where you can show the content where you what you want and th these tab triggers will be the options to change the tabs between the side uh, inside the sidebar basically so if I show you how it looks you can see this is the button if I click on toggles custom sidebar you can see this is the sidebar from the Excalibur now you can see this is a little bit different than this one because the, this one is having the close button uh, uh, close option or the, the button here at the left side because this is the simple drawer from end design 
and this is the custom uh, sidebar from the Excalibur. Now you can see th these are two buttons which are the triggers for dif showing different tabs. So this one is showing the tab one and if you want to show different tabs uh, inside so you can switch between the tabs this is the tab two. So if you want to show multiple UIs in different tabs so you can also show that in here. If you click on close button so this will be closing this and if you click on toggle custom sidebar and if you uh, keep opening open this so it will be shown here on the right uh, right side or like it will be showing always this method otherwise if I just don't do that uh, do th or pin this sidebar if I click outside so it will go away so you can basically pin this sidebar on the right side if you want to see something from here that you can also do so the customization is simple you just need to wrap the, tri the triggers for changing the tabs if you want to uh, allow the tabs to be shown otherwise you can simply uh, just show some uh, different UI elements as well if you want to show only let's say a simple heading that you can also show but uh, generally we show it in different tabs we show multiple ideas or the content inside different tabs but if you just want to show some UIs or the content inside this sidebar so you can easily show that so that is this and if you want to uh, remove the header so you can remove that otherwise you can just keep it as it is so this was it in the sidebar and we have to provide some name to it you can uh, choose a default name which is the custom and that is the custom sidebar which we are creating and in here you can see the background color of the button or the sidebar trigger is shown here and we are also specifying the name of this trigger as custom and the tab 1 which will be shown uh, in our case the tab is not there so you can remove this part so this is how we are doing basically so I hope you got it in this video that how we can basically create the sidebar in this and more customization you can uh, read the docs and understand it properly and we'll be uh, wrapping our tutorial in this video i hope you got something thank you for watching let's meet in the next video